Greetings, fellow gamers. This is my voice. I just want to say thank you all for getting me to 1K subs. It means a great deal to me, as now you all know what I sound like. However, there are some main points I would like to go over with all of you. This does go into a lot of detail and exposition, so I suggest you listen to this with an open mind. The most asked question I get a lot is, when will I switch to voice videos? I will be honest to say that it is not an easy decision in such a big jump. I do love how my videos are made, but the last thing I want is to have my videos longer than needed. All the videos that I have made are towards being concise based content. If I were to switch to voiced videos, it would affect me in real life also as I share a room with my brother and I'm recording this in my basement. And that my mic isn't the best quality as you may have noticed. I do wish I could switch to voice content as I have great experience in public speaking and I've won awards for it. I always want to put out quick and high quality videos like this. Another question people have asked me is why did you start YouTube voiceless? My answer is that I want to stand out. A good majority of people on the platform have voice content. I do not necessarily hate this fact, but I do not like this majority of voice content on YouTube has so much filler in their videos that it seems overstretched. Another thing I slightly displease is that, although I sadly do it myself, is that YouTubers will always ask you to like and subscribe. And that kind of seems like begging and maybe a bit extorsive since some YouTubers will go as far as to scare you into subscribing, such as if you don't like and subscribe in the next five seconds, this spider will be in your room tonight. As for my weekly leak videos, I asked my viewers to leave their ideas or predictions to create a discussion. However, I got the community tab recently, so I will no longer be doing this from now on. I want all my viewers to know that they have the right to subscribe to whom they want and to know that they have a choice for curated content and notifications from specific channels. I value your time and the fact you choose to watch my content in conclusion, I may or may not switch to voice content indefinitely. I know you all have questions, concerns, and complaints about these changes, and I am more than happy to answer all your questions in the comments section below. This is His Gaming signing off. Thanks for listening.